Here's a quick video showing you how to put together your 42 inch Bagonet Pro. Let's start with a few safety tips. Use caution when raising the lift arm as it can cause injury. Second, be aware of the pinch areas of the harvester when using the lift arm. Third, we recommend not riding or sitting on top of the harvester. Fourth, when the lift arm is in the down position, make sure the carabiner is always locked. Fifth, do not allow your children to play on or around your harvester. And lastly, we recommend you harvest and move your harvester at about a speed of five miles an hour or less. Let's start assembling your harvester. First, unpack your harvester by carefully rolling your harvester off of the pallet on a level surface. If this is too heavy, make sure you get help. In your quick start instruction manual that came with your harvester, there is a list of all your package contents. Be sure that everything is there and laying out. It's now time to raise the lift bar. To do this, unlock the carabiner at the front of the harvester, lift it up and to the rear until you feel it click into place. This engages the harvester wheels on the ground so that you can level it later. The third step is to decide which way you want to pull. Do you want to pull to the side or do you want to pull straight off the back? We call that one the center pull. The pros for pulling on the side are that you are not going to crush your nuts before you roll over them with the harvester. The harvester is also easier to see when it's off to the side and could be pulled from either side even though we prefer it to always be pulled on the left. The cons of the side pull is just that it's less maneuverable and harder to get around your farm and your trees. The center pull makes it very maneuverable and very easy to run it. But the cons are that your vehicle tires will probably crush or push some of the nuts into the ground before the harvester reaches them. Some reasons for pulling through the center though are maybe to pick up your old nuts from last year before your new nuts fall or if you're picking up any sort of trash nut. To set up for side pull you first need to locate the triangle sidebar and remove the four bolts from it. To remove the bolts you're going to need two 9 16 wrenches or you can use a socket and a wrench. Take those out and set them to the side. Be sure your triangle sidebar is orientated where the straight bar is on the front side of the harvester as shown. Insert the bolts into the corresponding holes connecting the triangle sidebar to the frame side. Make sure you tighten that with your wrenches. Now find the tongue. This is the long straight bar with the coupler at the end of it. Remove the bolts from the end of this with your wrenches. Insert the bolts through the tongue and into the corresponding holes in the triangle sidebar. Place the front bolt in the second from the top hole for now and go ahead and just finger tighten these two bolts because we may need to move them later. Remember the coupler is pointed toward the front of the harvester as shown here. If you're going to be pulling from the center, remove the bolts from the end of the tongue and then place the tongue next to the center pull plate on the right side. This will make it a true center pull. Insert the bolt into the rear hole and finger tighten. Then insert the second bolt into the front middle hole and finger tighten for now. Now let's make sure your harvester is level. A level harvester is an efficient harvester. It's going to spill less and it's going to hold more in its crates. The tongue height on your harvester is adjustable to ensure that your harvester is level. Depending on how high or how low your hitch ball is off the ground will depend on which front hole you are going to use. First, bring your riding vehicle near your harvester and make sure you're in a level surface. Also make sure that your lift bar is up, which we did in the very beginning. Place the coupler, the front of the tongue, on the hitch ball. Now check to see if your harvester is level. If the frame of your harvester isn't level to the ground, remove the coupler from the ball and rest the harvester on the ground. Remove the front bolt from the tongue and adjust the tongue to the appropriate hole. You're trying to find the best hole to get your harvester level. You might need to try it a couple of times. Once you've found the right hole, use your two 9 wrenches and tighten. 
Once your harvester is level on your writing equipment, unfold the crates in the lower crate seat. There are two extra crates in the upper crate seat. You can store these crates open or closed or full or empty. You can use the provided bungee cords to secure the crates if needed. Now let's put on your baffle. The baffle is optional but will help if the nuts start flying beyond the crates. First attach the two lower corners of the baffle to the holes in the frame with the provided carabiners. Then insert the ball end of the bungees into the slots by the upper basket seat. The 42 inch Pro has tires that can be engaged for transportation or disengaged to activate the harvester. To engage the harvester, meaning you're ready to pick up those nuts, carefully raise that lift arm up and back until you feel it click into place. This puts the tines on the ground, ready to harvest your nuts. When you need to transport the harvester without harvesting nuts, lower that lift arm down and towards the front of the harvester. Make sure you always attach the safety rope when in the down position. This allows you to move the harvester around without collecting trash and debris. Four quick things on maintenance. Make sure you grease the four fittings on your harvester about every 10 hours of use. There are two bearings, one on each side, between the frame side and the harvester tines, and one on each hub of the tires. Hose or blow off your harvester at the end of the season. Don't store your harvester in direct sunlight. Periodically check the bolts for tightness. To find out more information on this harvester, including the very best way to harvest with your 42 inch pro, go to bagonut.com backslash info 42 pro. If you have any questions, make sure you contact us at bagnut.com or call us at 904-641-3934.